Now we're going to configure our preview. To configure it, you first have to choose it, because you might have more than one here. So we'll highlight it by left clicking. Then we'll left click configure preview. This is our preview configuration screen. We're going to maximize it. Let's add the picture now of whatever it is you're planning on decorating. Up here in the left corner there's a picture frame. It has a tree and sun in it. Well, this is the button you use to add whatever image you want to add to it. We'll click on that. On my desktop I have that little clip art house. I'm going to highlight it, open it, and you can see there's a corner right there sticking out. It's way too big. So you go to edit, the background properties, and I happen to notice this one right here, 770 is the size that it needs. So I'll OK it, and now we have our picture. If I were to close this, that will save it as it is. When we come back to configure it again, it's still there and it's still the same size. You can also change the background lighting. If you'd like to have it closer to dark, you do that with this slider bar up here. Just sliding it over, you can get it as dark or as light as you like. It makes it a lot easier if, to get it down closer to dark when you're uh, looking at your preview. So I'll just leave it up for the moment. Makes it a little easier to see. Let's put some decorations on it. If we go over here to our elements, open up plugs. We have all 96 of our plugs that are available. Now we want to keep track of where each plug is going. Uh, just write it down on a scrap piece of paper and what colors you would like it to be. Uh, the colors matter because when we configure the colors on there and you're watching it on your preview, you'll actually see these lights change to the colors that you've uh, designated for them. So I'm going to highlight plug one and I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on the icicles. And you apply these by holding down the left button at your starting point, dragging it, and then let go. You can change the size of these lights if you'd like to have bigger bulbs by changing light size. You just highlight it, change it to, oh, let's say a five, click somewhere else here, and now the lights are bigger. I'm going to put that back where it was. And you can also change the count if you'd like more lights or less lights. Right now it's at 38. We can back that up and change it to say 50. Now we have 50 strings of icicles here. So you can play around to make your preview look however you'd like it to look. Uh, this is all just for the preview itself. It has nothing to do with what's going on in your house. It's just how you'd like your preview to look. Now I'm going to add another set of icicles up here by highlighting plug one again, clicking on the icicles once again, holding down the left button, drag it, and release. Now any time that you're actually working with a certain plug, anything that you have linked to it will turn pink as this is. If I click on plug two, these now turn blue. So you know when they're highlighted pink that that's the plug you're working with. So I'm going to put a second set up here because I'm going to call plug one my icicles blue. I'm going to call plug two my icicles white. So I'm going to hold down the plug and this time I'm going to hold down my shift key, click on the icicles, and we'll stretch another set up here and let go. And if you want to leave them a little offset, makes them a little easier to see uh, in behind the others. And still holding down my shift, I'll click on plug two again and I'll draw the set down the other side, leaving them just a little offset. Okay, so we click on plug two, we have that set. Click on plug one, we have the other set. So I'm going to call one my icicles blue, two my icicles white. Uh, with three, I'm going to do the same thing with the upstairs window. I'm going to click on 
plug three on the rectangle and I'm going to start in one corner hold it down drag it across and that leaves a set of lights around that window three is going to be upstairs window blue I'll make plug four once again doing the same thing click on the uh, <coughs> square and we'll start in the corner drag it across and now we have plug four as the upstairs window white five will be the left window blue I'll click on the square once again drag across six click on the square drag it across is going to be my left window white number seven is going to be a right window blue number eight is going to be the right window white number nine is going to be the door blue click on the square once again drag it down the door and number ten is going to be the door and this time we're going to call it red but it doesn't really matter on this screen we just have to know that that's the color we're going to make it so I'll drag that across and uh, should you decide to add other things such as oh let's say candy canes I'll go to plug 11 I'll click on the candy cane and I'll draw it here on the house so that you can see it easier you start at the top and drag your way down and just drag it to the side or the other side whichever way you'd like your candy canes pointed and when it looks like what you want we'll just let go so now plug number 11 is for candy canes I'll just go ahead and hold down the shift key and draw a couple more of those starting at the top I'll go back to plug 11 draw another one plug 11 draw another one alright now plug 11 is all candy canes so we're going to close this and we've used 11 of our plugs already we're going to close this and save it and now I'm going to OK this preview go back to setup display over on the plugs plug one I'm going to right click on it and rename it so I'm going to call plug one my icicle blue okay it plug two right click rename Put your cursor, space, I see eyes, go, wait. Okay, and this is how you rename them. Uh, I'm going to fast forward this now as I go all the way down to 11. Now we'll set the colors that are going to show up in our preview and on our sequence. All of them that are blue, I'm going to do all at once. I'll hold down my control button, highlight each one that's blue, go down here to the configure box. If it's not set on color handling, set it on it, and we'll click configure. Now, I, I've been playing with these a little bit, so it's going to come up and say these have already been configured, uh, but just pay no attention to that now they are a single color and do not change color at all and the color is blue if we wanted it to be something else we would simply click on the box you can customize your color or you can just pick one of the uh, ones here at the bottom blue is the one I want so I'm going to OK it and OK and yes they should be overwritten because I've already been playing with them now here's the box that tells you what you just did 
So we'll OK it. All of those are now set for blue. I can do the same with white. Highlight, hold down the control button, and click all the whites. Color handling, click configure. This time, we'll choose white. We'll OK it. And we'll OK again, because these are still a single color. Yes, overwrite it. And this is what we've done. Now the red door and the candy canes, they're both going to be red. So I'll just highlight both of those. Color handling, configure. This time I'll click on the box, go to red, OK it, and OK. And now these are set for red. And that's all there is to changing it. If one of these wasn't the way what you wanted, you can always go back and rename it as well. So now by OKing it, we'll save everything as is.